And now, YouTube comments with Jacksepticeye. Swiggity swooty! I'm coming for that booty! If you're gonna come for the booty, can you bring snacks? Like chocolate or like Doritos or something? Bring beer too! Please. Hey Jack! Guess what? 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 Tell me! I need to know! Can you do a face reveal? No! No face reveal! Sonic Pool has spoken! Could you please not have that hair? For you, random individual? Anything! Let me just, like, take it off- Let me just take it off here for a second! Let me just- uh, How often do you fart while recording? How often do you have to edit it out? Can we hear it at any point? I don't fart ever while recording. I- I mean, my, I'm concentrating on other things. I'm not sitting here wondering about the gas going around in my intestinal tract. That or if I fart, I don't actually notice it ever, so maybe it's even a surprise to me. But no, you wouldn't be able to hear them. I dare you to play COC. I assume you mean Clash of Clans. I'm not ever going to be playing Clash of Clans because I tried playing it one time on my iPad and I hated it. It- I don't know how people like it. I mean, I get in, I do stuff, and then I have to wait like 40 minutes for something to happen. Or it's like, hey, do you want to pay now to speed it up? And then you do, but you still have to wait again afterwards, or you can pay again. It's just a cash-making scheme. It feels like a scam playing that game. So, not only am I not going to ever be recording videos of it, I'm not ever going to be playing it again. Which soundtrack is better in your opinion? Shadow of the Colossus or Undertale? I can't even decide myself. They both have amazing music. Why are you gonna try and make me choose, man? I don't have to choose between two of them. They're very different types of soundtracks. Shadow of the Colossus' soundtrack is very thematic. It goes with like everything in the game. Like from start to finish, it's very, very consistent with itself. So a lot of the tracks ended up sounding, and s sounding the same, or a lot of them end up like bleeding into each other or playing off each other. Like a lot of the battle themes almost sound similar to each other. So, for that reason, it's it's really, really good. It fits the game really well. It immerses you really well. But Undertale has a lot more individuality in its tracks. So a lot of the songs are very, very distinct and very different from each other. They all have the same kind of like, I don't know, almost like chiptune sound to them. But they, they're very melodic. A lot of them have very, very strong melodies in them. And they're very, very different from each other. And a lot of the battle musics are very, like, different from each other as well. Like, all the bosses have their own individual music. Instead of something like Final Fantasy, which a lot of the bosses have like very set tones or very set sounds to them. So, I don't know, they're very different types of soundtracks, so I, I like them both. Too much talking, just be funny. I think it was supposed to be too much talking, but it's not like too much talking. Like talking on the weed, man. <laughs> As a YouTube commentator, I'm doing too much talking, but you still somehow want me to be funny. I don't get that. You seem like you'd be a very huggable person. I do give some fantastic hugs. Ask anyone who's hugged me. These things hugging machines. They can wrap them around you. And then constrict you. And squeeze the juices out of your eyes. Do I still sound huggable? <laughs> Jack, do you record two videos each day? Or do you record lots one day and then spread them out over time? Usually I'll just record two videos a day and then they go up the next day. So anything you see today will have been recorded the day before. Unless I'm planning for trips or I'm just feeling particularly productive that day and I'll just go ahead and record a bunch of stuff because I have the time. But usually it's two videos a day because I have to I have to edit them and upload them and thumbnail them and title them and everything all myself. And my work ethic and the timing of all the videos is very, very strict. So I, I don't really have the time to record a bunch of stuff unless I'm planning for trips and then I make the time. So I record like four a day. And then by the end, it's like a whole day of editing and rendering and then a whole day of thumbnailing and titling and all that stuff. I know I know some other YouTubers do a whole day of recording. Like the Game Grumps, for example, from what I know, they do like a whole day of recording, then they're put out over the week. But th their format is that they record like one game and then that goes like day after day after day after day for like a whole week. So I, I don't do that. I spread out my games a lot further. So I can't record like four episodes of Papers, Please. Because then that like eats into the time of other stuff that has to go up during the week. So it's a very different format, it's a very different beast, very different video machine that I've got working over here. So I can't really afford to do a whole like week's worth of recordings in one day because there's a whole bunch of different games. Sometimes it's very hard to figure out what games I'm going to record, so it it's different. Um, but 90% 90, 90 of the time it's just two videos a day. Jack, why do you get so deep in all these read your comment vids? But See? That wasn't deep. Why doesn't Jack hire people to edit for him? I've considered it. I've wanted to actually do it, but there's a lot of... There's a lot of things...
things in it that make me not want to do it. For first off, it's because I'm very reluctant to give over my content to somebody else yet. Because I feel like no matter how much somebody knows your content or watches your content, nobody will be able to put that stamp on it that you are actually able to do. Well, that is if you've, if you've been editing your own videos and then you pass them off to somebody else. Unless you've been always passing them off to somebody else, then it's different. But for me, I feel like if I pass them off to somebody else to do, while I might be able to trust them, my stuff doesn't require a lot of editing anyway, but there's a lot of pacing in my videos that I like to do, and some people out there who watch a lot of my content would probably be able to tell that it changed, so I don't really want that to happen yet. Another reason is because I like doing the edits myself a lot of the time. I like just sitting down and having, like, being a one-man show and doing all the stuff myself. And another reason is because it's hard to find somebody who not only you trust, but hard to find somebody who's close. Because it's very hard, because a lot of the footage I record comes out at like 200 gigabytes. Because you're recording like an hour of footage, uh, unless it's some certain different games. I have software that can record smaller files, but it's very inconsistent software, or it's like if it crashes, if the game crashes in the middle of it, then the software messes up and the whole footage is corrupt. And then I either have to render it down to send to somebody, and then I'm like, why don't I just edit it and render it down myself? Or I can't send it to them because it'll take forever because it's hard to send that kind of footage. And there's nobody like in the area that I know that edits that kind of stuff or that would be, that not that would be good enough, but that I would trust with my footage. So there's a lot of reasons why I don't do it. So for now, I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna keep editing myself. I like doing it, why not? <laughs> Jack, get Bender tattooed on your ass! And then when you zoom in on it, it'll be a lot of zero and z zeros and ones and the binary code to travel back in time. You're a fucking douchebag and only assholes have hair like yours. Yeah, because people who don't dye their hair green are all perfect angels and they can't be assholes at all. Everyone's an asshole to somebody else anyway. There's nobody out there who absolutely everyone loves. Every, somebody out there is always going to think you're an asshole and it's when you get over that fact and you realize hey You know what? I don't really care. They can think I'm an asshole. I think I'm all right It's when you get over that kind of factor that you really start being happy with yourself When you don't feel like you have to please other people all the time So yeah, I might be an asshole or a douchebag to you, but I'm sure you're an asshole and a douchebag to somebody else So who cares? Speaking of lack of editing May I mention the two minute pee break that happened once? So I talked about the lack of editing in a previous one where I said that I didn't like to edit too much because it kind of killed some of the personality or the intimacy in a video. Um, I still stand by that but they're talking about the two minute pee break that happened in the first Undertale episode. The very first Undertale episode, the first episode in the pacifist route. There was a part where I, because I, I had to edit down the video like little parts here and there and I forgot to edit out a part where I went and took a pee. And it was like two minutes of me gone. I like stood up, went in the bathroom, had a pee, came back, sat down and got back into the video. And <laughs> I'm kind of glad I left it in, but at the time I was like, oh god, I can't believe I forgot to edit that out. And then I couldn't edit it out because it was already uploaded. And I don't like to take stuff down and re-upload it just for like simple editing mistakes. But I'm kind of glad it happened because it shows that I'm human. It shows that I make mistakes, that I actually have to get up and go pee in the middle of video sometimes. That it's not all just like a video machine. I'm not a robot that sits here and makes videos all the time. I do make mistakes, I am fallible. Uh, or is it infallible? No, fallible. Fallible is the one where you can make mistakes. Um, see, I'm making mistakes already. So I'm kind of glad that I left it in. I went into the animation that um, Gritty Sugar made, Steph made. Um, so I kind of added a whole layer of personality to that video and I I'm really glad I left it in now. What brand or model camera and microphone do you use? Also, what editor do you use? The microphone that I use is a Shure PG42 USB microphone. And it's the same one that, well the last time I talked to Mark, it was the same one he used and he got a bunch of us to use it as well because he swore by it and he said that it was a really good mic and he was right. For the price that it was and the fact that it's a USB microphone, it's insanely good. The quality of it is incredible. As for camera, the one I'm using right now for vlogs and for reading comments videos is a Canon G7X, which is insanely good for the quality and the size and everything of it as well, or for the price and the, the size of it and everything. It's really good, it's like a DSLR camera and a little tiny handheld one. But the other one I normally use for videos is this. It's just a little camcorder. It's a very simple, quick and easy camcorder. It's a Canon Legria HF-R56. It won't focus on this now. There you go, there's the model of it. You can stop the video if you want. It's a very simple, quick, cheap um, camcorder that records 1080p and 60 frames per second because when the YouTube update came in for 60 frames per second, I had to get a new camera. And I wanted a new one anyway because I used to use a Logitech webcam which started to mess up and it could only do 30 FPS so 
why not? And what else did you say? Editor! I recently switched to Adobe Premiere. Um, it's so much as like two days ago actually I started using it. So everything you're seeing now is edited with Adobe Premiere. Uh, which I really, really like. I used to use Sony Vegas for like two, like, two and a half years, almost three years. It'd be three years on the channel in March, so I almost used it for three years. And it's a really good software, I really like it. It's very easy for beginners to pick up and start using. But when you have to get into, when you have to get into like a lot of renders, a lot of renders and edits, and when you want to do fancier stuff, it's a bit more cumbersome to use, because the render times on it were ridiculous. I was rendering out 720p videos, and it was taken for like a 16 minute video, 720p, 60fps, it was taken like 45 minutes. And then I switched to Adobe Premiere, which is harder to use for beginners and it's really, it's all over the place when you launch that software and you don't know what the hell is going on. But when you get to use it and you get a bit faster with it, which I am now, it renders stuff out in like 16 minutes, which was really, really good. So I might start putting up my videos to 1080p now since I can actually render them faster because that was the main reason why I didn't. I love your Adam's apple! Can you show it off? Why? What's so great about an Adam's apple? Wait, I can make it move. <laughs> it's just an Adam's apple. Cool. Jack, what's your biggest video game rage? Oh god. It used to be stuff like from my past, in my childhood, when I'd rage at games when I was like a little teenager and I'd get pissed off and stuff very easily. But some of the games I've played for YouTube, like Geometry Dash, Velocibox, all those, yeah, Super Mario Maker, uh, recently Undertale. Some of the bosses in that, like Undyne and Sands, really made me get angry at some points. Because I, I'd play them and I'd be like, okay, I died, I can go back and try again. But then after like the tenth attempt, you're like, okay, I need to get this done, I need to go off and record other videos today. And then you just start getting pissed off because you run out of time for it, so... Stuff like that. I don't know what my biggest one was. I, I guess I wasn't big enough to be able to remember it, fondly. Um, probably something in... No, not Geometry Dash, because th that was a game that I always knew I was bad at. Probably Undertale. <laughs> Why don't you play consoles? I play consoles all the time. I played Super Mario Maker recently. That's on a console, that's on my Wii U. I played, I play Bloodborne all the time on my PS4. I might not play stuff to record on my console all the time. Mainly because most of the games that are on it, I can get on my PC. And it's much easier to record on my PC. There's no point plugging in a console to record onto my PC to edit on my PC when I could just record straight from my PC anyway because the software is better and it's integrated into it but a lot of the other games then that are on console that aren't on my PC just aren't games that I play for videos anyway um, I've been playing a lot of Diablo 3, Rocket League I was playing on my PS4 downstairs when I was like rendering or whatever uh, Bloodborne I was playing the DLC for that recently as well so it's like I don't really feel like making videos on those so I'll just play them in my spare time WAIT does he still read YouTube comments? I'd say this series is a testament to that, so yeah, I do. But I read them every single day. I still do. I, I, I keep having to reiterate this, because a lot of people seem to think I'm gone just because there's so many more comments. But I'm still there. I still answer every day, all the time. Still the exact same amount of comments as I always have. Again, there's just a lot more of you guys that draw me out now, which is fantastic. I love that. Keep commenting all you want. I love reading all the comments all the time, but I still read them. I still read tweets, Instagram comments, uh, Tumblr asks and posts and everything. I'm still here. I still read everything. And I've done some of this reading your comments video. I, that went on a lot longer than I thought it would be. Because I only had 20 comments. I, I whittled it down to 20 this time. I normally do 30. But I was like, I'll just do 20 this time. I'll try and make it a bit of a faster video. And now I realize that I've talked really, really long. And I've been recording for ages on this one. So hopefully it's not that long a video. Sometimes I don't want them to be too long. I don't, I like to vary them, because if they're too long then they become a bit annoying to watch after a while. So I like to have them short, long, M maybe the next one I'll, I'll do a shorter one again, I'll try and be funnier. I don't know. <laughs> I can't be funny when I try to be funny, it has to be spontaneous. And even then it's not all that funny, it's just, it's just wit. It's just like quick turnarounds, or just loudness, and then people think that that's funny. I don't know. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you liked it, Punch the like button in the face! Like a boss! And I base all round! Thank you guys, and I will see all your dudes! That's me! Dramados! Oh, God, that's scary! <laughs> if that was real life, it'd be like hitting fucking cement! Even though I did the divey dive and I like went straight through it, but whatever. Hello! You're dead! Oh, lots of hair! I need a haircut! Look at this shit! It's like a meadow on my head. I need to get this trimmed. There's too much of it. Maybe I should just 
slick it back and be like, hey, how's it going? Oh, Jesus Christ, no. 